The predator known as Light Stepper, also known by the name of One Hand because of the visible missing arm that he has. He was a brave and experienced hunter during his time, and his story goes through a few comic books. It starts off on a planet where he along other predators are going through a rite of passage. The young bloods are led by their leader, Topknot. They must prove themselves by slaying a xenomorph. One predator named Two Stripes believes their leader has lost the trail, but Lightstepper finds the trail of a xenomorph and is allowed to continue on. As Two Stripes watches him from a safe distance, Lightstepper gets ambushed by an alien. The two of them fight each other, with Lightstepper winning over the alien by cutting its neck with the wrist blades. In doing so, the acid splatters onto his right arm and it melts away. As Two Stripes watches, he believes Lightstepper is too weak and will die. So he takes the head of the xenomorph and uses its acid to fake some injuries on his body. As he makes his way back to his group to inform his leader of his kill, only to come across them carrying Lightstepper's body, he is still alive. Stealing the trophy from another hunter goes against their code of honor. Two Stripes is then left on the planet to face the xenomorphs alone, but with no armor or weapons. The clan does not accept dishonorable hunters. Now his story is continued later on when they go to Ryushi to see what happened to Dashande and his group. But before they get there, some marines find a crash predator ship along with a hunter who seems to be too weak to move. Also within the ship they come across a captured queen alien. It turns out they were tracking a distress signal from extraterrestrial origin. The marines take the sick predator back to a base as Lightstepper and his group try to stop them. But with the xenomorphs getting in the way, the marines manage to escape. The sick predator later on gives birth to a pred alien, which kills most of the marines in the area. It later shows up when only Lightstepper and Captain Glass are the only survivors left. They both join forces and end up killing the pred alien, and in the end, they are both seen sitting together, waiting to see whose people will come to save them. The last time Lightstepper was seen was during the time Machiko Noguchi joined Topnat's clan. After a successful hunt in capturing a queen alien, the group boards the ship and leaves the planet. Then, as the clans were gathering on the mothership, Machiko catches a glimpse of Lightstepper returning. He is given a lot of attention from his recent hunt. Now having the flag banner that was used by Captain Glass on Ryushi, this is worn on his right arm. As Machiko touches it, she disrespects Lightstepper and is swatted away. This might imply that Lightstepper's clan arrived to rescue him and Captain Glass might have been killed. But she wonders if it was a fair fight. And that was a story of Lightstepper, one of the few predators to remain alive over a number of stories in the comic books. If you want to see the story of Dashande and Machiko Noguchi, I will link those videos in the end of this one. So if you want to see more videos around the Predator universe, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, my name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.